jump in to save you? <laughs> no, you just kind of like, hey. yeah, I, I don't know. Don't ask. Let me hang right there. Well, what's the date today? 25th. 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 Isn't there one of you guys has a birthday today? I always keep track of that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, it's your birthday, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. that's it. Thanks. Thanks for that note you sent me yesterday. <laughs> Lots of yucks on Thanksgiving week. Uh, hey, we're, uh, we're ready to go. The big trip again, you know, going about as far as we can go. Um, we've made this trip uh, before. We leave a couple days early to take in the, all of the sights and sounds. And uh, hopefully we'll put together a really good, really good performance. I, I think that this team is really starting to peak. I'm talking about Tampa. And uh, you can see their play. Uh, it was a great football game last week against a terrific team in the most difficult situation. We've, they, they've totally got our attention and our focus, and it showed up during the week. We had a really good week of work, and the guys were jacked up about it getting right, and so I hope, I hope we can make it show up at game time. You mentioned Tampa starting to peak. They've got like 15 turnovers in the last whatever, six, seven games. What, what are they doing defensively? They're, getting the ball? Uh, they're running and hitting. They're a very physical team. Um, multiple scheme and all, but they they just come after you. The whole football team plays really tough. And, and Dirk's got a really physical football play, team playing. What's Justin Britt's injury and status for Sunday? Um, he's going to be a game day decision. He's got an ankle injury, ankle sprain from the game. And Joey Hunt, I guess, will be playing. Later. Joey's been play, getting all the work this week. He's ready to go if we need him. Did Justin not practice at all this week? He didn't. How likely is it that he's going to have a chance to play this Sunday? I don't know. I watched his workout. He had an extraordinary workout just now, and uh, he's as close as you can get. Uh, we'll see what happens. Again, he'll go all the way to game day. You've talked about it, but how instrumental has Britt been all season to the offensive line? He's been a great uh, a great addition, M moving him to center. He's just been a I mean, we've just been so fortunate that he took to it so quickly. Um, he loves playing the spot. He gets it. He looks like he's been playing in there all his life. So we're just very fortunate. Yeah, fortunate, I say, because he's the, the guy that has the most experience. He's been with Tom the longest. He's got the most insights to you know, what we're trying to do is adjustments and, and identification of stuff and all that. So he's really helped the other guys, too. What would be your, your backup center option if Justin's out? Justin won't be out. Earl Thomas, what's it look like? His chances. He's are doubtful there. at this point. Um, we'll see. We'll see what they say after we get out of here. I don't have any updates for you other than that. Will, will he be a game time decision? You'll know that before. Longer That's before. doubtful. Yeah. So I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. No, I won't let you know. But I'll find. I'll find out more after I leave you guys. You've been somewhat hopeful that Brock can make it back earlier. What's his situation? Uh, he's going. He's going to go to the stadium and run on on game day and see how he does. We've held him out during the week. What have you seen from Joey Hunt? What do you like about the progress he's made? So Joey's a really smart football player. That was one of the, the reasons that we were excited to get him when we got him. Um, he's always on his game. Um, he's a natural center in that he understands the position. He's just been a really good player with a lot of background at it. He's never had a problem doing anything that we've asked him to do. So if, uh, if Joey does the plan this week, I, I feel like we don't have to change anything. We don't have to adapt to anything. We'll get all the same communication, and we'll get a guy playing, playing his butt off to, to help his teammates. George Farmer coming up to the 53. Just what have you seen at him so far? And uh, you know, George has been kind of my special project um, for some time now. You know, he's he's played a few different positions, and, and that's because he's such a talented athlete, and he's a he's a really good competitor. He's, uh, he's got a good mind for it. He's handled all of the things that we've done with him uh, all along. We've uh, when we drafted CJ, you know, we looked at, at him and, and thought that you know George could do the same kind of stuff that he could do. We'll see if that works out. Um, we really like the player, and I think he, I think you're going to see he's got really uh, a lot of versatility. Is a guy's high school background useful to you when you look at some of these? Absolutely. Yeah, I want to know what sports they played and, and uh, what kind of athlete they were. Um, you know, the the variety of things that they were good at, you know, back then. All of that stuff makes a difference, yeah. Would Kevin Pierre-Lewis go to Brock spot at Sam? He can. He's ready to do that. What did you see from Alex Collins this week? Uh, he's continued to practice really well, ready to play him. Um, I think I've said a couple of different, a couple of different weeks that he's really made a lot of progress. Uh, very well versed, knows the whole system, can do all of the things. Can, we can move him out and do all the stuff that we did with CJ. Um, so it's, uh, it's, it's his time. It's his opportunity. So it's, let me say this a bit about in general because there's a few guys that you're asking about. Th these opportunities are so special for us to have guys 
you know, be called on to step up because if they step up and they do well like we count on them doing, we get better and it helps us. And so the, it, you could look at it like, oh, you know, what are you going to do with the new guy coming in? I look at it like it's a challenge for us to improve and, and, and uh, include our depth in, in our mindset that they can play and contribute and, and uh, guys, they'll step up. They always do. But this is really good for us and, and, and hopefully we'll, we'll show that by the way these guys play. How do you spend your time on these long plane rides? That's a nice question. Um, well, I have tons of stuff uh, that, that that I get to do on the plane. I, I mean, I work the whole time, and every once in a while, if I'm way ahead, you know, I might watch a movie for a little bit, and then I don't like them, and I'll turn them off. <laughs> so I watch a little bit of a movie, and then uh, basically, I, I have so much stuff to watch film-wise that I, I watch our game stuff. I, have, I haven't completed a movie on an airplane, and I can't even remember. So, ever. What about your attention span or how good the movies are these days? You got it. <laughs> 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 it has nothing to do with the quality of the movies. Thanks. Thank you.